whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were slammed the bombs were singing and gave proof through the still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Nancy St. Germain. Please welcome Pastor Mark Mitchell for the invocation. A moment of silence in due respect of the men and women who are in uniform fighting for our freedom and liberty every day, abroad and here at home. And also in due respect for those families who have men and women in uniform who are fighting for us, and also for our first responders. Would you please bow your head in a moment of meditation and quietness. In just a few moments, I will invoke the presence of the Lord on this great event. Just bow your heads in due respect. Thank you so much. Father, it is in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our friend, that we are most grateful to come before thee. As we stand, we stand with a grateful heart. As we stand this afternoon, we stand with gratitude for all you've done for us. You are the creator of heaven and earth. You have blessed us to be alive today, to experience this rich, rich moment that we share together. And Father, before we go any further in this program, it is with the utmost gratitude and gratefulness of our hearts that we can lift up our voices to say, Thank you so very much. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for this great city in which we live. We thank you, God, for our presidents of nations and governors of states and mayors of municipalities and councilmen and councilwomen of their districts. We love and honor you and praise you. Father, with a special concern of prayers on our hearts and our minds, for the men and the women every day who are fighting for our freedom and our liberty. We should never forget them, God. Please protect and guide them every single moment of their life. And our first responders, all that they are tasked to do. May you grace them with your presence, Lord. Strengthen them. We thank you for their families and their children. Now, Father, we ask a very, very special blessing upon our mayor. You've given him a great vision. You've given him great support with his wife and family and all of the staff who work every day in this great city we call home, which is Kenner. We thank you for him. We thank you for his strength. We thank you for his vision and his mission. Father, may we hear what we're going to hear today. May it bless our souls. Everything that we hear and everything that we will experience 
may it be a blessing to us. And let us not forget, Lord, regardless of the crime, regardless of the drug situation in our country, United States, or these United States of America, it is still the greatest country in which to live and raise family. Let us not lose sight of that. Momentarily, Father, we shall eat together. And as we eat, we eat with thanksgiving in our hearts. Please bless the meal, the preparers of the meal. We don't forget about them who took time to prepare what we're about to eat. We thank you. We glorify you. Bless the time that remain us together. In Jesus' name, amen and thank God. God bless all of you. Please be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please turn your attention to the screens as we present the 2015 State of the City Address. With every sunrise, there are 15 square miles of opportunity. This is Kenner, a peaceful, prospering community where almost 26,000 families and 68,000 people live, work, and play in harmony. For the first time in recent history, the city of Kenner has balanced its budget without siphoning money that is dedicated to capital improvements. Belt tightening a willingness to cut expenses and smarter contract negotiating has led to $8.5 million in savings. Today, our government is leaner by 135 fewer positions than when I first took office. We can boast of a healthy fund balance that exceeds $6 million and has major lenders in the nation's financial capital believing and investing wholeheartedly in Kenner's dedication to progress and fiscal responsibility. We secured much-needed federal funding from the Paths to Progress program. It resulted in $20 million in improvements last year to some of the busiest streets in Kenner, at no cost to Kenner or its taxpayers. We have completed 60% of our work to upgrade the citywide sewage program and will soon bring a system that was long ignored back into compliance with the Department of Environmental Quality. We will invest $80 million from low interest loans to ensure that Kenner residents and businesses are no longer plagued by a neglected and dilapidated storage system. The future looks fantastic. Um, you know, we're in a region that's growing, it's pros prosperous. Uh, the region uh, is bringing in a lot of young families. Um, so, I mean, w I'm very positive for this future. So, uh, how's Kenner doing? Kenner's doing fantastic, Mike. Under your administration, I, I think it's, it's really increased. The uh, landscape has improved. Um, the development is it's just tremendous, great progress that we've seen, and I'm proud to be a Kenner resident. Great. Well, thank you, Al. Thank Appreciate you, Mike. It. Thank you. More business, for sure. Um, there's more growth in this area, more, more restaurants, more people, um, and just uh, I just find overall things are better. Upon taking office, I established a long-range Kenner 2030 vision and plan. An economic development task force of key community leaders was assembled to offer ideas and stimulate results. The outgrowth of that task force is here as we embark on a $41 million corridor redevelopment project that will usher in a renaissance for major boulevards and byways, improve landscaping, road and bridge improvements, lighting, safety enhancements, bicycle lanes, and public art will showcase Kenner like never before. And we are doing this through smart refinancing that will not increase our city's current debt payments. The project is so expansive and impressive, Kenner is expected to receive $20 million in federal funding support. The million-dollar-plus project at the entrance of Lake Town has already sparked a new development. Soon, the corridor at Joe Guinea Boulevard and Williams Boulevard will be a sprawling high-end retail complex instead of the age-old, overgrown, unsightly landmass of days gone by. I went to high school in Kenner. I went to middle school in Kenner. My first building I built in Kenner was in the early 80s. I've had 10 different businesses in Kenner, and uh, Kenner's going the right direction. I have a plan. I just finished my new home uh, here in Kenner, and I had built my last new home in Kenner in 1990. 
So uh, we're not moving anywhere, and we find that even with the people I know here and kids coming back, that it's, it's growing. It's growing in the right direction. We have money coming to Kenner. Some of the businesses I'm bringing to Kenner and other areas of Kenner are you know, the job-producing companies, and that's what we need right now. In Kenner, we believe flood protection is critical. Today, Kenner is a priority in the statewide flood control program, as well as the state capital outlay fund. We are investing millions in new drainage projects. The system is dramatically improved. The citizens of Kenner can really feel comfortable with what they've got in place. Uh, everything has been raised uh, since Katrina. Along the lakefront, everything has been raised at least a foot in elevation and with an additional foreshore protection and fronting protection along all the pump stations here. Uh, and then along the western return wall, everything was raised uh, at least a couple of feet, depending on the location. Across the city, we are creating a sense of place and pride. Wayfinding signage help residents, commuters, and tourists better understand Kenner's boundaries, neighborhoods, and major attractions. Rivertown in South Kenner is revitalized with new tenants, a new distinction as a Louisiana Main Street project, and the Department of Motor Vehicles office, which makes it easier and quicker for our citizens to renew and apply for a license. A full agenda of Rivertown events attracts a big audience of new fans. Our Music in the Park series, Movies in the Park series, and Weekend Farmers Market are all luring in visitors who are experiencing Kenner. At the north end of Williams Boulevard, Lake Town is prepping to become a beacon on the lake. This year, Lake Town and the widely popular Coconut Beach played host to the American Volleyball Professionals Championship. At Lake Town, Kenner hosted Olympic gold medalists while showcasing our city and lake to the nation on NBC Sports. This administration is in talks with Boyd Gaming about upgrading the only casino on Lake Pontchartrain. And we've cleared all hurdles and are reviewing the plans of a developer who will build a boardwalk development on 15 acres of the lake coastline. Our vision of Lake Town is a top quality development featuring retail, commercial, upscale condominium living, a hotel with ample convention space, and an amphitheater for live productions. Lake Town will revolutionize the way we use Lake Pontchartrain. Do you foresee a Mr. Ed's or maybe even a, an Amanda Seafood out in our Lake Town development? I would absolutely love that. I definitely would. Um, I saw a lot of images of the Lake Town development and it looks absolutely beautiful. I think that'll be a great location, especially it may even bring more tourists into the city of Kenner and that would help hotels, it would help restaurants, it would help all of the different stores. So hey, if we had another location in the Lake Town area, we would definitely enjoy that. Our Kenner Police Department is protecting our city through smart patrols and deployment and innovative programs that are helping citizens understand their role in public safety. The Kenner Police Department is strengthening our city against crime through programs like Business Against Crime, a Citizens Police Academy, an Explorer Project, many neighborhood watch programs, and women's self-defense classes. The Kenner PD has mandated officer fitness programs for its 245 employees, including 164 police officers, 15 communications officers, and 17 correctional officers. Our Kenner Fire Department has 120 full-time and reserve personnel, of which 89 members are certified first responders. With six fire stations and a response time of three to five minutes, our Kenner Fire Department earned a Class II rating, a status held by only 2% of the nation's fire departments, and a rating that saves businesses up to 4% on insurance premiums. You can now download mobile applications for both the city and police department on Android and Apple devices. These apps allow you to get alerts, pay your taxes online, and access other city services while on the go. Our Office of Emergency Management acquired more than 44,000 in public safety communications equipment and more than 370,000 in FEMA funds to install storm shutters. The facility is now a state-of-the-art center that can house all essential personnel in one location during a catastrophic event. We can stand this facility up immediately in the event of any type of emergency, any type of hazard. As you can see, we monitor all types of activities here from the uh, Department of Transportation to the Coast Guard to the ports to uh, uh, police and fire. We have all those things that we monitor here on a daily basis. So we're able to support those agencies in the event of any type of emergency and we can activate this center on a moment's notice. Our Code Enforcement Department has upgraded its space in City Hall. 
Today, we provide a customer-friendly, one-stop shop department for citizens who rely on code. We work with our police department to fight blight and keep our city in pristine condition. This past year, in just one five-week period, Kenner inspectors issued more than 800 citations for unkept landscapes or properties and for outright blighted land. We are keeping our community accountable and protecting our properties in doing so. Our Kenner hotels and motels are thriving. Many have undergone major renovations and upgrades, and our association with the Jefferson Convention and Visitor Bureau has paid off. A new contract with SMG to manage the Pontchartrain Center has cut Kenner's expenses and has also put SMG in cooperation with the JCVB to book events that will bring overnight visitors. Overseeing and managing public education is not the job of a mayor or council, but ensuring that our city has all the amenities and services needed is my job. At the recommendation of the Economic Development Task Force, we created the foundation for a charter school in Kenner. Kenner Discovery Health Sciences Academy was approved in 2012 and opened its doors at the old Majoria school site. In its first year, Discovery earned a high B ranking and placed ninth in the nationwide Scholastic Summer Reading Challenge. We're now going to be a pre-K through eighth for the first time this year, so we're excited about that to offer every elementary grade. We're also approved to go on to ninth through twelfth. The new and innovative school of choice, focusing on health and science, will soon expand through 12th grade. The response from parents has been nothing short of phenomenal. Since its inception, seats have been awarded by lottery. This year, the school received more than 900 applications for just 200 available seats. The retention rate is an unheard of 99%. And all of this good news is bringing business to Kenner. Businesses are expanding, new companies are opening, and our tax base is growing stronger. Our work with JETCO is luring new business to our community and helped earn our city the Jefferson Chamber's coveted Champions Award. I like the fact that Kenner cares about what the property looks like. On Williams Boulevard, on Florida Boulevard, they're constantly keeping up the Kenner properties. Um, I also like the uh, police department. Uh, they're very swift if you need them. Uh, so I've been, I've been happy living here as well as keeping my business here. Consider the many achievements. Consider the significant number of major events like the Moving Wall, the one-half replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. that came to Kenner for five days, or the growing list of fun ways to spend weekends like Oktoberfest, Christmas Village, Race to the Lake, Articure, and much more. Consider the management of an austere budget all the while gaining the federal and state funds to be one of Louisiana's most progressive cities. When you consider what Kenner has to offer and how Kenner government has done more with less, then you can rest assured that the state of our city is safe, sound, and strong. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your mayor, the Honorable Michael S. Yanni. Okay, y'all can sit down now. <laughs> feel like I'm in the Navy. I must thank you uh, today for coming, not just for being here and showing up, but your support for Kenner and this administration, but allowing me to lead one of America's great success stories. Thank you for allowing me to share a vision and then put that plan into action that will bring this vision to reality. Thank you for your trust, your confidence, and your inspiration. I must thank the Kenner Business Association for hosting the State of the City Address and for your hard work in promoting a better business climate in the city of Kenner. As I stand before you today, I'm filled with pride. I am proud to have achieved a dream 
to serve the city in which I live, the city I love. I am proud to be part of a team that refuses to just do what's expected, but instead strives to go well beyond expectations as a matter of common practice. As you have seen in this film, Kenner is on an upward trend. Thank you to Kenner TV for providing the coverage and material to make this address outstanding. Thank you for your continuous documentation of our city's history. I would be remiss if I did not thank the Kenner City Council for, provide, for proving that people come before politics and that teamwork is an engine that never idles. This council is making great strides towards solving age-old problems while helping shape this city for the ages. The council members not only adopted a practical, responsible, strategic budget that focuses on real needs of our city, but they also support the administration's commitment to quality of life enhancements that influence, re influence redevelopment and private investment. We are together defining Kenner as a community of choice. Our momentum is catching the eye of the region, and who knows, maybe soon a nation. I would like to recognize our Kenner Council, a tightly bond collection of leaders who have become the architects of change. I could not act on such an ambitious agenda without the full support of each of them. Please join me in thanking the members of the Kenner City Council. I'd like to thank Chief Michael Glazer for his calm, cool, decisive leadership of the Kenner Police Department. I'd also like to recognize Jefferson Parish Councilman Ben Zahn, who represents the city of Kenner on a parish level and works tirelessly to ensure that the city is always a top priority. And Ben, you cannot forget that. <laughs> Thank you for representing our city with pride and determination throughout all of our state's difficult finances to our legislative delegation who Senator Smith is here with us today. I know it couldn't have been fun up there, but I thank you for always remembering Kenner and trying to strive the best for us. My administration, you have embraced a philosophy that was handed down to me by my grandfather. You have agreed to put service before self, and that's the definition of true public service. My administration's efforts, their discipline, your heart gives the people of Kenner the boost of confidence in government that is responsive and focused on true results. Where's my administration? Y'all got to stand up. I can't even find you. Come on, stand up. Round of applause for my team. Thank you very much. If you know my wife, Michelle Yenny, then you know that she's someone who does not enjoy the spotlight but she does enjoy the radiant smiles of those who are impacted by generosity and heartwarming actions. To that end, my wife has made it a personal mission to ensure that every family is blessed with basic nutritional food. For years, Kenner has run its food bank from a, a, uh, for low-income residents out of a former firehouse built in 1961, but no longer. We are soon completing construction of a new food bank that will allow us to expand our mission beyond the 900 families we now care for and feed. I, want, I am thankful to Michelle, Ronnie Maines with CRC, and the many volunteers who make this food pantry possible and who provide their love for others one meal at a time. <laughs> Reagan, you should lead in the clapping. There is a spirit in Kenner that is inviting. There is a spirit in Kenner that is inspirational. There is a spirit in Kenner that is undeniable. It's the spirit and officer Zach DeBerg, whose proactive patrolling led to the arrest of six people, two of whom were felons. Officer DeBerg seized three firearms, drug paraphernalia, seven grams of marijuana on a routine traffic stop in April of last year. His vigilance and care for our community is a shield that gives us the sincerity we've come to expect. His concern for his fellow man and his dedication to Kenner strengthen us, protect us, and give us peace of mind. And it's his above and beyond approach that is what earned him the distinction as Kenner Police Department's Officer of the Year selected by the Kenner Rotary. Officer DeBerg, your spirit of Kenner is what inspired 
your commitment to this city and its people. Please stand so that we can recognize you for your courage. This city's success is also in the spirit of Captain Clifton McGovern. Now, Clifton doesn't know this, but I too was somewhat raised by his mom when I started in the mayor's office a long time ago. Clifton began his career in, Ken in the Kenner Fire Department in January of 1996. He was promoted to fire driver on August 19th of 2006. And by March, of 2015, March 15th of 2011, Clifton was promoted to captain. He rose through the ranks not only because of his courage and commitment, but also because of his sense of duty and responsibility to his fellow man. On January 15th, a medical assist call came across the radio. Captain McGovern and his team arrived at the scene to find one female unresponsive. Captain McGovern performed basic life support protocol, and soon the patient regained a pulse and her life. To Captain McGovern, his life-saving action was just another day on the job. To us, his, resp his response is heroic. To him, he was doing his job. I want to read a letter that a, a District Chief Daniel Lanier wrote about Cliff. Chief Lanier wrote, besides his dedication and service in fire suppressions, the fire suppression aspect of his job, Captain McGovern has at least two saves in medical rescues. He always steps up when called upon. He makes our schedule and is our firehouse man. He also has organized many charity events off-duty to help special needs children, as well as the families of St. John Parish Sheriff's deputies who were killed in the line of duty. A great captain, a great guy, my fireman of the year. For his valor and devotion to his job and the people he serves, we honor Captain McGovern as the fireman of the year. Stand up and be recognized. Please. The spirit of Kenner is everyday people who go out of their way to show a special brand of love for others. Alberta and Albert, J. Bird Rose, sponsor an annual Feed the Multitude event on New Year's Day. I attended this year and I was overwhelmed with the emotion by the selfless act of compassion shown by Alberta and J. Bird. Imagine how inspiring it must be to someone who is down on his or her luck to be cloaked in care and charity by another fellow being. These two beautiful people inspire us all to be our best, to be kind to others, to openly express our own devotion to our friends, family, and neighbors. Yes, the spirit of Kenner is in Alberta and Jay Bird because they sacrifice for the good of others and their reward is the smiles and tears of those who embrace them. We recognize Mr. and Mrs. Albert Rose for their heart and their gift of hope. Thank you so much. Please stand up. There's so much more we have not addressed in this state of the city. It feels good to have so many successes, but we aren't afforded the time to dwell on each one. But consider for a moment the future of Kenner now that relations between the city and, the, and New Orleans have ushered in a rebirth at our airport, a $1.7 billion economic impact that will boost our economy and give us a first-rate travel center. But Senator Smith's got to get us some uh, road money for that Loyola interchange. <laughs> that economic engine will give Kenner the much-needed funds to imagine even bigger. And what about the BP penalty money that we will gain because of the foresight of our now councilman and former city attorney, Keith Conley, who filed suit on the city's behalf? Imagine how those funds will also be put to good use as we reshape Kenner for generations to come. Thank you very much, Councilman. You could have stand up, but at your age, you shouldn't stand up for anybody. Today, as I state, our city's stature and status, let us, let us commit to one another that we will not stand when our children expect us to leap forward. The ambitious agenda I have set for this city is so that one day families like ours can know that our children will have a place to live and work, where they will find peace and a sense of place. I, wa I want that for our beautiful daughter, Reagan. I want her to be able to live forever in a city where she was raised. 
I want her to have all the amenities of one of America's great cities in her own backyard. I want her to be able to roam freely across our city without fear. I want her to stand proudly on this adaptation of a shining city upon a hill. Reagan and every child of her generation will have a commitment to pursue ambitions, but achievable ambitions. I will work toward the goal with the same fiscal discipline that has helped us to weather our national recession, and with the same resolve that helped me to do more with less without ever raising taxes. President John Kennedy once said, there are risks and costs to a program of action, but they are far less than our long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. We are a city of action. We are a city of determination. We are a city of vision and vitality. Kenner has never been more full of promise and possibility. If you live, work, and play in Kenner, you are safe, you are sound, you are strong. And my friends, you are Kenner strong. That's the state of our city. May God bless you, your families, and may God bless the great city of Kenner. Thank you very much.